Remembering a Chicago broadcasting legend, just over an hour ago, we learned that Mary D has died. Nearly 60 years ago, this trailblazer started in radio, then moved on to television most of that time at WGM. She later worked as WGN's Director of Community Relations until 2008. Robert Jordan and I both worked with Mary D, and this afternoon, Bob and I look back on Mary's remarkable career. I was just stunned because I had just spoken with her yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, we were planning to go to lunch and she said, let's, let's plan in the next week or so because I hadn't seen her for probably several months. Mary is the first person to welcome me to WGN. In 1973, I was in the cafeteria. <clears throat> she walked up and said, hello, I'm Mary D. Welcome to WGN. You know, with that, that lilting, beautiful voice. And, and she said, let's talk. And we sat down and uh, we became dear friends, close friends. She was friends with many, many people, mentors of many, including a mentor of mine. He was inducted into the National Association of Black Journalists Hall of Fame and also served as the Illinois State President of AARP. Mary D. was 85 years old, a short story to show you how yes. remarkable she was and how she persevered in the face of adversity. 50 years ago, Mary D., then a talk show host at Channel 44, was outside the station, had just been on the air with a guest. They were kidnapped by a stranger, driven to the south suburbs. They were both shot. Mary was shot in the head. The man she was with was killed. Mary crawled out of the forest preserve on her hands and feet oh my gosh. and legs and uh, survived, lived another great 50 years and became an advocate for crime victims. That is an incredible story. I'm yeah. so glad she's okay. And I, would rem I was reminded of her smile. I remember watching her growing up and the impact that she made both on and off camera is so impressive. And thank you for sharing uh, more about her. And so involved in the community. Yeah, really impressive.